You can also use the auto digitize icon to digitize an outline only image. If you wish to resize the image, it is always best to resize the image rather than the finished design. This time, let's use the transform toolbar to resize the image. Swipe across the width, enter the amount and press enter to activate the change. With the image selected, click on the auto digitize icon in the auto digitize toolbox. There are two colors, black and white. Click OK. And in the auto digitize box, omit the fill by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the white color chip and select omit. For details, you have three choices. Let's choose center line and click OK. Press the T on the keyboard to switch to design view. The design will have a limited number of jump stitches because the software has planned a path that stitches twice over the design. There is one jump from the center of the design to the first stitch of the design and from the end of the design back to the center. The jump stitch that occurs between the end of the wing detail and the eye happens because the eye doesn't touch any part of the outline. There is also a small jump stitch between the wing and the separate detail of the wing. With outline images where there are some separate objects that are not touching other parts of the design, there will be jump stitches in between the outlines that touch and those that don't. If you wish to eliminate the jump stitches between the center and the first stitch of the design, go to Design, Auto Start and End, place a dot for the start needle position at the first stitch of the design and the end needle position at the last stitch of the design, and go OK. The jump stitches from the center are no longer there. But remember, when you do this, the design is no longer centered. Right click on the hoop icon and uncheck at start needle position and click OK. The design is now recentered and is ready to save and send to the machine for stitching.